Right, so uh, given that the shorter side is 10.4, the acute angle is 46, find the length of the longer side. So the longer side means underlying. And the longer side refer to JK. Easy? So how do I do that? There are actually two methods. You want me to show you both method or just both method? One method. I show you the one that is related to longer side means longer on the parallelogram. Now let's start. Now, uh, first you must know that this shape here is made up of two congruent triangle. Do you know? Two congruent triangle means two exactly the same size triangle. Uh, wh 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 where is it? It's actually this, this, and this. Can you find the other triangle? Able to, ah? Uh? So now let's try. So area of parallelogram is equal to 142.14. Do you know why? Yes. So 2 times area of triangle JKL will be equals to 142.14. Do you agree? Continue. Now 2 times, now area of triangle, do you know the formula? Half A B sine C. So can you write down? Half times something something sine something. Can you fill in the two brackets and the blank behind? What is the first bracket? What is the first bracket? Obviously, I have a, I have an angle here. Obviously, I have an angle here. I, I need to use this angle, right? So I need to use this angle, right? So I will use 46. If I use 46, where are the two length I must use? 10.4. And JK, which means once I solve this, I can I'm able to find JK. Now let's try. Press everything here in the calculator. What do you get? <clears throat> this is ten point four, right? Times JK times sine forty six equals to one four two point one four. Can you find JK? Divide by 10.4 sine 46 18 point zero. Okay, la? good. Okay, so with this, then I can uh, ignore the three, the, all the questions below, and let's go to cosine rule. Shall we go to cosine rule? 